The legacy of King Kamehameha lives on. A weekend of events honoring Hawaii's first monarch kicked off today with a lay draping ceremony at a statue in downtown Honolulu. Kamakapili was there and has more. It is that time once again. We're talking about King Kamehameha Day here, a, a, a very special holiday in Hawaii. Now it's kicking off today with the lay draping taking place behind me and then it leads into our floral parade tomorrow. But to find out more about really the history of this holiday, we're here with the, the chairman of the commission, Kainoa Danes. Thank you very much, brother, once again for your time. Tell us about the significance of this holiday. This holiday is the only holiday that we continue to celebrate from the time of the monarchy. This holiday was designated by King Kamehameha V to honor his grandfather, King Kamehameha the Great. And it's a state holiday where we drape the statue, we have parades across the state. It's a time for all of us to come together to remember the father of the Hawaiian Kingdom. And is it correct to say this is the 151th anniversary of this late draping? This is the 151st anniversary. The first holiday was celebrated on June 11, 1872. And we're still here. We're still here. This then leads into the parade tomorrow. But what is the what number annual is the parade tomorrow? The parade here in Honolulu is the 106th annual. So the parade's been going on since the early 1900s. And, and what can people expect tomorrow? I'm sure it's going to be a day full of festivities. So in addition to the marching bands, the decorated floats, the decorated vehicles, pa'u. The art of paniolo dressed and the women in their finery. Pa'u is truly what makes a Hawaiian parade Hawaiian. Well, thank you again, brother, for all your work. You. But to find out more, I guess, about the, the significance of us continuing this, we're here with the governor, Josh Green. Thank you very much, governor, for your time. I know you're a very busy person. But from your perspective, why is it important that we continue to celebrate this and you being here today for this celebration? Well, the king represents unity of the Hawaiian Islands. He represents something that we can respect as far as culture. And it really brings people together. Again, over all these years, now 151 years, Tradition is important, so we're respecting our culture, we're respecting the unity that the islands uh, you know, prepare us to believe in. And so I think once again you see all these people coming together, it's special. It's special when Hawaii can feel a sense of unity just like the king did for the islands so many years ago. I think just in general though, the, the fact that we continue to perpetuate Hawaiian culture in many different facets, for you, what, what, why is that important that we don't lose that sense of, of importance for who we are and where we come from? Well, in many ways, it brings the islands together. Now, I've watched this uh, ceremony from the Big Island all these years because I was a Big Island guy up in Kohala, and it is an extraordinary thing to watch the parade and then, of course, the lays on the Kamehameha statue in Kohala, really one of his origin spaces. Uh, that kind of cultural recognition is important because the islands are one. Hawaii is one. One Ohana. Thank you again, Governor. Really appreciate your time. Again, a lot of activity taking place today. The Lay Draping 151st anniversary, which then leads us into the floral parade tomorrow, starting at 9 o'clock right here in front of Iolani Palace, which will then lead all the way to Kapi'olani Park, culminating in a Ho'olau Le'a. So for all the information, again, not just here on Oahu, but across the state and the Pai Aina, be sure to visit our website, khon2.com, and you'll find all of that. Kamakapili with KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.